Have you ever wondered what makes life on Earth possible? It's our closest star, the Sun. It's more than just a celestial body that brightens our day. It's the beating heart of our solar system, the lifeblood of our planet. Imagine Earth as a thriving green oasis, and the Sun is its invisible gardener, nurturing it with light and warmth. The Sun's energy powers photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert sunlight into food. It's the spark that kindles the fire of life, enabling plants to grow, animals to thrive, and humans to cultivate civilizations. Beyond nourishing life, the Sun also regulates our climate. It maintains the delicate balance between warmth and cold, ensuring our planet remains a hospitable home. Its rays weave the tapestry of our seasons, painting our landscapes with hues of spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And let's not forget, the sun is our primary source of light and heat. It's our natural torch illuminating our days and warming our world. Without the sun, life as we know it would cease to exist. Imagine a world where the sun suddenly goes out. A chilling thought, isn't it? But let's delve deeper into this scenario. The moment our sun flickers out, the first thing we'd notice is the immediate plunge into darkness. It's like someone switches off the light, but on a global scale. Remember, light from the sun takes about 8 minutes to reach us. So for those initial 8 minutes, we'd still see the sun shining brightly in the sky. But once those 8 minutes are up, it's lights out. Now let's talk temperature. The sun is our planet's primary heat source. Without it, Earth would rapidly cool down. The average surface temperature, which is currently around 59 degrees Fahrenheit, would drop to a freezing negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit within a week. Yes, you heard that right, negative 100 degrees. This sudden drop in temperature would have a drastic impact on our ecosystems. Plants, which rely on sunlight for photosynthesis, would stop growing. Without plants, herbivores would have nothing to eat and this would have a cascading effect up the food chain, leading to mass extinction in a relatively short period. As for us humans, our activities would be severely affected. Our daily routines, dictated by the rise and set of the sun, would be thrown into chaos. The cold and dark would make it impossible to grow food, and alternative sources of heat would become essential for survival. Our infrastructure, built for a world with the sun, would struggle to cope with the new harsh conditions. And we haven't even touched upon the psychological impact yet. Imagine living in perpetual darkness, never seeing the light of day again. It would be a test of our mental resilience like no other. In essence, the sun is more than just a glowing orb in the sky. It's our life source, our beacon of hope that rises every day. Without it, life as we know it would cease to exist. Within a week, Earth would be a frozen dark wasteland. But the sun's disappearance would have even more dire consequences over time. Over an extended period, the absence of sunlight would spell the end of photosynthesis. This process, fundamental to life as we know it, relies on sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and glucose. Without it, plants would cease to produce oxygen, gradually depleting our atmosphere of this vital gas. The ripple effect would be colossal. Herbivores would starve due to the lack of plant life and in turn, carnivores would struggle to find prey. It's a domino effect that would lead to mass extinctions. But the story doesn't end there. The loss of sunlight would also mean the loss of atmospheric pressure. This is because the sun's heat helps to maintain our atmosphere's pressure by keeping the air warm. Without it, the air would cool and contract, leading to a drop in atmospheric pressure. This would make it even harder for those few life forms that managed to survive thus far to continue existing. The third and perhaps most chilling long-term effect would be the freezing of the Earth's surface. With no solar radiation to heat it, the average surface temperature of the Earth would drop dramatically. Within a year of the sun's disappearance, it's estimated that our planet's average surface temperature would be minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That's colder than the surface of Pluto. Frozen oceans, a barren landscape and a silent world, this would be the fate of our planet. Earth's once teeming biodiversity would be replaced by a few hardy microorganisms huddled around geothermal vents deep within the ocean's abyss. In this cold, dark world, life as we know it would become a distant memory. The vibrant greens of forests, the colorful spectacle of coral reefs, the chorus of birds at dawn, all would be silenced and replaced by a haunting stillness. In the long run, Earth would become a barren, lifeless planet. But what about us, humans? How would we fare in this sunless world? Our species is resilient and adaptable and we've faced numerous challenges throughout our existence. The sudden disappearance of the sun would be no different. We would need to find new ways to survive and we'd have to do it quickly. 
One possibility is living underground, the Earth's core is hot, and that heat could be harnessed to provide warmth and light. It could become our new sun in a way. We would need to build extensive tunnel systems and subterranean cities, an enormous engineering feat, but not impossible given our technological advancements. Yet life underground presents its own challenges. We would need to find ways to grow food without sunlight. Hydroponics and aquaponics methods of growing plants in water without soil could be viable options. We could use artificial lights to mimic sunlight, allowing plants to photosynthesize. Insects, mushrooms, and other organisms that thrive in dark, damp environments could become significant sources of food. We would need to revise our diets and adapt to new culinary norms. Energy generation would also be a hurdle. Currently, much of our power comes from fossil fuels and renewable sources like wind and solar power. With the sun gone, solar power would be off the table and fossil fuels would eventually run out. We would need to rely heavily on nuclear and geothermal energy, and perhaps even develop new forms of energy generation. The psychological impact of living in perpetual darkness should not be underestimated either. We, as a species, are used to the rhythm of day and night, of seasons changing. We would need to find ways to mimic these cycles underground to maintain our mental health. In this sunless world, life as we know it would change dramatically. We would face challenges and hardships but we would also find solutions, adapt, and persevere. We would learn to live in ways we can't even imagine now. Survival would be possible, but life would be drastically different. Could we find a way to replace the sun? Now there's a question that truly ventures into the realm of the unthinkable. But let's entertain this idea for a moment. Imagine the audacity of such an endeavor. We'd need to artificially create a sun-like object capable of providing both heat and light, the dual life-giving gifts our natural sun bestows upon us. It's an idea straight out of science fiction and yet, in the face of the unthinkable, a sunless world, it becomes a concept worth exploring. Creating a sun is no small task. Our sun is a giant nuclear fusion reactor converting hydrogen into helium at its core and releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. This energy is what we feel as heat and see as light. For us to replicate this, we'd need to master the art of nuclear fusion, something that has eluded scientists for decades. And let's not forget about the scale. Our sun is colossal, over a hundred times larger than Earth. The energy output is staggering, around four million tons of hydrogen are converted into energy every second. To replace this, we'd need to construct a mechanism of unimaginable proportions, capable of harnessing and directing that level of energy. Then there's the question of resources. Where would we get the amount of hydrogen necessary to fuel our artificial sun? The most abundant element in the universe is not so readily available on Earth. Finally, we'd need to consider the safety aspects. Any misstep in controlling this amount of energy could lead to catastrophic consequences. Yet despite these immense challenges, the concept of creating a sun is not entirely beyond the realm of possibility. It's a testament to human ingenuity and our capacity to dream big. It's a reminder that even when faced with the seemingly impossible, we find a way to ask, what if? Creating a new sun may be beyond our current capabilities, but it's a fascinating concept to consider. So, what have we learned from this thought experiment? From the immediate impact to the long-term effects, the human response, and the unthinkable solution, we've taken a journey through a world without the sun. A journey that underscores the sun's crucial role in our lives. The sun is not just a celestial body, it is our lifeline, a provider of light and heat, and the driving force behind the Earth's climate and weather. Without it, our planet would plunge into darkness, temperatures would plummet, and life as we know it would cease to exist. The human response would be unprecedented, with survival becoming our primary objective. And while we may fathom unthinkable solutions, the reality is that our existence is intricately tied to the sun. So, let's take a moment to appreciate the sun's importance not just as a star, but as an essential part of our existence. The sun's importance to life on Earth is immeasurable, and its loss would change everything we know.